welcome to St. Kitts and Nevis. We are about to visit the main island of St. Kitts. It's a breezy day today with brilliant sunshine. Promises a lot to see and enjoy. The official name of this island is St. Christopher, and Basseterre, meaning lowlands, is its capital of 19,000 people. My name is Raj. Welcome to St. Kitts. I'm here with Captain Raj, my co-host, and St. Kitts is a beautiful island. We are 68 square miles, 5 miles wide, and 22 miles long. Today we're going to do a nice tour. We're going to go see the, the Brimstone Fortress, uh, right over here. We're going to see the Batik and the Red Forest, and we're going to see Timothy Hill, the Atlantic Ocean and Caribbean Sea meets. It's going to be a lovely time. All right. Captain. After getting a new hat, we are off on our tour. Coming into view is the Church of the Immaculate Conception. It was destroyed and rebuilt several times, but here it stands today. What impressive architecture! Beautiful, neat clean finishes of these buildings, stone and concrete in the bottom and wood at the top, observe the cleanliness of the streets. A historic edifice in the form of a cathedral greets us a short distance away. And then the cenotaph in Fortlands. This war memorial honors the men who would have fallen during the wars. It has the names of 20 men from World War I and 6 from World War II. Three tombs lie in front of the obelisk each constructed with stone of each one of the three islands which comprised of St. Kitts, Nevis and Anguilla. This last island had been part of the colony. University education is very important here on the island of St. Kitts. We can see the University of Health, Science and Medicine. And now we are approaching the Ross University, sitting right next uh, to the sea and occupying a huge expanse of land. On the left, a modern project catering for tourism hurries by before us. The remnants of a chimney show some evidence of the once flourishing sugar industry on the island. In 1626, the native Kalinago leader Tegremond had become uneasy with the increasing number of European settlers on the island and planned an attack. However, the French and British got wind of his plans and massacred more than 2,000 of the Kalinago people. It is said that there were huge piles of bodies here at Bloody Point and the river ran red for three to five days non-stop. We are traveling along a strip of land once covered by sea. This work was undertaken to take the land back from the ocean because the hillside was just unstable. St. Thomas Anglican Church occupies the site of the first Anglican Church in the West Indies. The first building would have been made of wood and designed to hold a few English settlers. It sits today in the middle of the graveyard where you can find the tombstones of the late Captain Thomas Warner and Samuel Jefferson, great-grandfather of Thomas Jefferson, the ex-president of the US. These gentlemen buried here were the first successful colonizers of the island.
We journey onwards, sneaking our way up and up and up through a narrow entrance and the climb continues. Beautiful sights of the seas and yet another entrance. The climb continues to the very top. What a treat! The view is simply breathtaking, stunning to say the least. A four-legged host gives us a warm welcome and then suddenly the majestic Brimstone Hill Fortress begins to reveal itself. This point permits you a spectacular view of the Caribbean Sea. This here is Brimstone Hill Fortress. The first time the British uh, planted a canyon here was in the year 1690. And realizing the importance of this point, they proceeded to fortify it for the defense and protection of this territory. Welcome to St. Kitts. This important vantage point provides a great opportunity to defend Fort Charles down below and Sandy Point right there where it is. Beyond the horizon we can see the islands of Saba, St. Eustatius and St. Martin. It would have taken 104 years to build this fort, but I think it was all worth it for the defense and protection of what we know today as St. These rocks would have been hewn from volcanic uh, mountains and built by slaves, this, this structure. You walk in this place and you, it makes you wonder what would have happened here over the, the years. The rich history that it, uh, it holds. It's a structure of wonder. The siege of Brimstone Hill Fortress occurred in 1782 when the French invaded St. Kitts. Just after a month of battle, the British, who were heavily outnumbered, surrendered. However, about a year later, the Treaty of Paris restored St. Kitts and Nevis to British rule. Canyons are in seemingly active state, the walls and stairs well kept. This is a place I'd love to explore, to know more of, of the men who died in its defense, as much as of those who tried to capture it. This is quite a fortress, very well taken care of. The museum below holds the many relics, pistols, swords, bayonets, and so much more. With an immense satisfaction of having tread upon such a site, treasured and full of mysticism. I walk away feeling that there are centuries of history which I yearn to know, but that will have to wait for a future visit.
some rolling plains and then the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank comes into view. This is the institution which regulates the easy currency for many Caribbean territories. We climb east and from our perch the Atlantic Ocean on the left, the Caribbean Sea on the right. And in the distance we can see the twin island on the The scenic landscapes unfolding before my very eyes give me with a joyful surprise. We can see the reasons why the many battles fought over the centuries to have possession of this jewel. You have to have the eyes to recognize such beauty and the heart to appreciate it. Heading back down, we see this beautiful bay with very high-end properties. A quick stop at the beach and what a fun time to be had. Caribbean sun, sand, tranquil waters and yes, fried fish. Lots of it. Ladies and gentlemen, please whenever you come to St. Kitts, you look for Brian. Brian knows best. Brian knows best, the best believe that. Brian may not know everything but Brian knows best and he's guaranteed to make sure that you're happy and well educated when you get here, okay? Thank you. We'll have an excellent tour of the island. It was very informative, it was very entertaining. And I must invite you to this beautiful island of St. Kitts and Nevis. of the mountains covered in clouds in the background and an amazing view of Basseterre. We say goodbye to you from the island of St. Kitts and we invite you to join us on the, our trip to the next island. Thank you.